If you still think humanoid robots are some far off sci-fi fantasy, get ready to have your mind rebooted. Because over the past couple years, while we've all been distracted by the AI revolution, robots have taken a massive leap forward with frightening advances in athleticism and intelligence. Today, we're taking a deep dive into five of the most insane humanoid robots out right now. From home assistants to factory workers, disaster responders, and yes, even romantic partners, these machines are not just mimicking humans. They're starting to compete with us. Let's start with one of the most surprising newcomers in the space, the Unitree Robotics R1. The R1 might look like a gymnast who swallowed a server rack, but don't let the size fool you, this thing is absurdly capable. Unitree dropped jaws earlier this year when they revealed that the R1 could cartwheel, shadowbox, and apparently challenge you to a duel, all for around $6,000. That's right, less than the price of some high-end gaming PCs, you can own a humanoid robot that moves like a caffeinated parkour enthusiast Standing at a bit under average human height and weighing around 55 pounds, the R1 is packed with 26 degrees of freedom. That means it can move its limbs with a freakish amount of articulation. And yes, that includes doing a 360 degree spin kick because why not? Unitree says it's designed for education, research, and entertainment, which is a polite way of saying it is not ready to replace your barista just yet. And there's some controversy here. Several early demos had viewers suspecting it was being remote controlled. Not exactly the autonomous miracle headline we were all hoping for. Still, the sheer physical ability it shows off is legit and possibly terrifying if it ever learns jujitsu. But the most mind blowing part is the price. This is the first time we're seeing near gymnast level humanoid agility available to consumers at a price tag that does not sound like military funding. The catch, of course, is that it's still very much in the look what I can do phase. Don't expect it to walk your dog or fold your laundry just yet. In short, the R1 is less personal assistant and more a proof of concept that it's already possible to produce humanoid robots at a consumer price point. And that is absolutely wild. Next up, let's dial down the physical stunts and ramp up the charm, wit, and perhaps an awkward conversation. Enter Realbotics Aria, unveiled at CES 2025, the humanoid robot built more for heartstrings than breaking Olympic records. Have you ever seen the movie Her? Well, Aria is Realbotics' flagship companion model. Think of her as the confidence-boosting, highly customizable, platinum price pen pal who never ghosts you. With roughly 17 motors just in her head and neck area, she achieves facial expressiveness that at times edges toward uncanny. Maintenance of eye contact and a conversational tone were hallmarks of her demo. And yes, she even confessed a robot crush on Tesla's Optimus, saying she would love to explore the world of robotics with him. Rather than walk or do backflips, Aria stays grounded, literally. Only her full-bodied version comes with a mobile-wheeled base. So don't expect her to fetch you coffee unless that coffee is being slid slowly across a table with polite AI charm. Realbotics offers Aria in several tiers. You can start with just the head and neck for full conversational abilities, then move up to a modular version that travels like a fragile suitcase. And finally, the full-body model mounted on a battery-powered base. Prices started around $10,000 for just the head bust, and the full setup tops out at about $175,000. Why all this effort? Realbotics' goal is ambitious. Create a social robot that adapts to you, remembers you, even acts like a romantic partner if programmed to do so. Their CEO described Aria and her sibling Melody as tools to tackle loneliness by making robots that feel emotionally responsive and realistic, but crucially not sexual objects, at least by default. So here's the deal. Aria is not for stacking boxes or doing parkour. She's built to connect, or at least simulate connection, with lifelike expressions, conversational AI, and a price tag that will shock your bank account. Dry humor aside, if you want a robot that remembers your name, matches facial expressions to mood, and never complains, she's a fascinating contender. Now we shift gears from emotional mimicry to raw athleticism. Our next robot does flips, jumps, and might embarrass your physical education teacher. Meet Tesla Optimus Generation 2. This is the robot Musk claims might one day be more important than his electric cars. A bold statement, but in 2025, he's betting everything on it. Optimus Gen 2 made its debut in late 2023 as a sleeker, lighter, faster version, about 30% quicker on its feet, and 10 kilograms lighter than its predecessor, with redesigned feet, hips, and 11 degree of freedom hands capable of delicate manipulation. Tesla even showed it picking up an egg without cracking it. Yes, an egg, because apparently robot chefs need practice too. 
Now, one of the really interesting pieces here isn't just the hardware. Behind the scenes, Optimus runs on Tesla's proprietary AI brain, the same stack they use for car autopilot, except now adapted for bipedal balance, object recognition, and motion planning. Each unit feeds back to a fleet learning system, like all the robots sharing one big brain taking an input from our world, meaning your robot learns even if you don't teach it directly. And as for real world use, Tesla has an aggressive timeline to build thousands of Optimus units this year in 2025 with deployment in their own Fremont factory before opening it up to public sales in 2026. And they're targeting a price somewhere between $20,000 and $30,000 per robot. That's a steep figure, but if it works reliably, it could undercut many competitors in the industrial automation. But, and yes, tiny little but, there is some gloom in the fine print. Reports from mid- 2025 highlight overheating in some joint motors, limited lifespan and transmission components, limited battery life, and still underwhelming hand load capacity. Apparently, the robot currently moves battery packs less efficiently than humans in Tesla's own workshops. Still, demonstrations show real progress. Optimus welding, folding shirts, dancing, even helping in kitchen tasks like stirring and vacuuming, which reportedly drew reactions ranging from awe to existential dread. So here's the deal. Optimus Generation 2 is the most ambitious humanoid on the market in 2025. Not just because of its promise, but because Tesla has laid out the production path, the hardware roadmap, and the future scary goal of 1 million units per year by the end of this decade. If it succeeds, it could reshape manufacturing, logistics, and perhaps even home life. But for now, it feels equal parts prototype and press stunt. The tasks it performs might be real, but we're still waiting to see automatic, unscripted, reliable factory deployment at scale. So yes, Optimus Gen 2 does feel like it could be humanity's future coworker, or at least our kitchen sous chef. Whether it delivers depends on how fast Tesla can fix the engineering cracks while scaling production. I will definitely be following updates on this one closely. All right, everyone, this one's something out of a Marvel movie, a robot with borderline superhero level strength. Meet Carrie Armstrong Dex, Korea's disaster response humanoid that can put bodybuilders to shame. Armstrong Dex is roughly the size of an adult human with hydraulic dual arms designed for heavy lifting and precision work in environments where humans would get hurt or worse. In a recent test, this machine hoisted itself completely off the ground while hanging by its arms with an extra 44 pound weight dangling beneath it. That's a strength test that would make most gym bros blush. Then engineers had it curl 88 pounds with one arm. Why? Because if you're going to build a rescue robot, fine motor control under stress matters, the kind of strength that can turn a valve or pry open debris without shaking half the structure in the process. But the piece de resistance. This bot can accurately lob a half liter bottle into a barrel from about 10 feet away. That's not showboating, that's calibrated trajectory, timing and force modulation designed so that supplies reach trap victims safely, not splatter off a wall dot. All of this happens on a tracked base that keeps it steady over rough terrain, debris, rubble, unstable ground, while operating tools, turning valves, or tossing med kits to unreachable spots where every second counts. Here's the bottom line. Armstrong Dex isn't doing backflips just to show off. It's an advanced intelligent machine built to perform life-saving rescue work, and the wow in that is terrifying in its own right. While other humanoids aim to entertain or assist in friendly settings, Dex was built to take the heat. Radiation zones, disaster sites, nuclear decommissioning labs, it's the robot equivalent of a firefighter who can deadlift 50 pounds, throw supplies into narrow corridors, and never flinch. While movies like Terminator make us all a little uneasy around the idea of advanced robotics, this makes me seriously hopeful for the ability of robots to improve human lives. Now let's move from spectacle and conversation to straight up labor utility that's already in use today in real factories. Meet Agility Robotics Digit. Think of it as the no-nonsense warehouse employee who never takes a break or complains about the coffee. Digit has quietly become the first humanoid robot actually employed in paid work, carrying boxes, navigating stairs, and delivering goods in logistics centers a little more reliably than your average intern. Digit is all about logistics, moving totes, unloading items, and handling warehouse tasks that are repetitive and physically draining for humans. And Agility's biggest break came in late 2023, when Amazon announced it was piloting Digit in its fulfillment centers. That partnership wasn't random. Amazon had already invested in Agility through its Industrial Innovation Fund. And to meet the potential demand, Agility has opened RoboFab, a dedicated factory in Salem, Oregon, designed to crank out over 10,000 robots per year with the potential to scale up to 100,000 annually. 
Right now, Digit costs around $10 to $12 per hour to operate, but Agility expects that to drop as production scales, possibly down to just $2 or $3 per hour, well below minimum wage for most developed countries. So while Digit might not win a beauty contest, it's built to show up, do the work, and keep going. And if Amazon's pilot succeeds, this minimalist looking machine could quietly become the most common humanoid robot in America. So for better or worse, Digit is already proof that humanoid robots aren't just research props or viral videos. They're real tools filling real gaps in industry. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving a like and subscribing for the latest tech news and product review. It really helps me out. See you next time.